to say before we get started that this is insane. How did this happen? Why are 14,000 people subscribed to me? Oh, this is... Okay, first of all, that was very rude of you, Social Blade. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video in Royal High. Today, I am in a private server, but once you see what this video is about, it won't matter whether or not you're doing this in a private server or a public server. I'm just doing a private server for the best results. Today, I'm going to be getting ready for the upcoming release of training, which is coming soon. We know it's ready. I just have to say, Roblox, update your game. Update your data servers. Everyone's going insane waiting for trading, and I want people to give me stuff. That came out wrong. Anyways, what I'm going to be doing is getting a bunch of diamonds so I can be ready for trading, and I'm going to show you how I get diamonds, so that way you can maybe follow along and do it the same way I do to get those diamonds super fast. Now, my calculations could be a little bit off, but I get about 15,000, not 15,000, that would be a lot, jeez, I wish 15,000, 1,542 diamonds every time I do this, and it takes about five minutes, but if you're fast, it can take less. Another thing you have to do to get ready for trading, there is going to probably be a leveling requirement, which I believe is level 25, but I'm level 33, so I don't have to worry about that. Someone reached level 6,000, multiple people, so if they can reach 6,000, you can reach 25. That's my motivation for today. Let's go get those diamonds. All right, so I'm going to jump right into it and show you guys what I do to collect diamonds on Royal High. I'm probably going to be doing this for a while. Hopefully, I can get up to like 50,000 just to have some to be prepared. But I do this little route, and I go around. It takes about five minutes, but I'm going to slow it down so you can see all the spots I get to. It's really easy, and by the time you've gotten to the last location, the diamonds will have respawned, because they respawn like every five minutes or so. So you can just go again. So first, I start right where you spawn. I collect this blue one. I just start here real quick, because it's very easy. And that's not really the first location. I kind of have like seven main locations. And the first spot I go to is always the lighthouse, which is this way. I just have a filter on that makes it hard to see, which I should really turn off. But anyways, here's the lighthouse. There's five red diamonds that I know of that should be all of them that spawn in the campus. And one of them's right here at the lighthouse. I call this Lighthouse Island. And I'm collecting all of these diamonds. Oh, and by the way, I do have the diamond game pass. So I'm if the numbers I'm getting look a little bit different than what you have, that's probably why, because I have both of them, but I will be doing the math to show you what you will get with and without the game passes. So I just collect all the diamonds on the lighthouse. I call this Lighthouse Island. And that's my first location. My only problem with using the flight game pass is that sometimes it's too fast for me to go right where the diamonds are. But almost all of these locations will give you over 100 diamonds if you have the game pass. Next, after the lighthouse, I head to my second location, which is this waterfall right here this uh the, the blue ones give me six each or one without it and the green one gives you 60 or 10 if you don't have either of the game passes and that's the second location then i head over to the pool right up here is this yellow one that's going to give you quite a few diamonds and i hit the other diving board and then i go into the pool where there's a few here oh swimming class has actually just started so i have to work around these little things here there should be one more and then after that, I go to the sides of the pool. You see these little seashells right behind them. And this is just the route I use. And once I'm done, I go back to where I started. But you, I encourage you to make your own and find out what wor works for you. Because what works for me might not necessarily work for you. Because it might be too fast or too slow. And so basically, you just have to find what works for you when you're trying to diamond farm. But I like to go in these sides behind the seashe seashells. Why can't I say seashells and collect the diamonds here? And then that is the third location. And then fourth, I go to this place over here. There's this secret mermaid grotto that you just head through the waterfall. There's three blue diamonds right here. Oh, I'm stuck. Then past this, there's this whole little grotto area. There's tons of diamonds hidden in the walls. I always end up glitching through the ceiling though. And then I get stuck and then it takes me forever to find my way back. Uh, that should be all of them. There's some on the sides here. There's one up here. See, that was a whole 60 diamonds for me. There should be some more on the ceiling. See, 
This. This. I always end up going through the ceiling like that. Oh, that way it was easy to get back. And then there's one in the middle. And then that is the mermaid grotto. But I also head up here. There's about, there's a couple blue diamonds in each of these. Just for some extra diamonds to have. I wrote down the number of diamonds I started with. It was like 13,753. And then I just grab the rest of the diamonds in this waterfall. And then I go to my next location, which is more red diamonds, which is awesome. So next, I fly out here to the tent for our second red diamond, which is awesome. That's not the red diamond. The red diamond's right here, which will give you 20 diamonds even without any game pass. So that's awesome. Some of these little, like, tree things have diamonds hidden in them. Then I go to this the uh tower borders these have quite a few special diamond locations that will give you lots of diamonds if you keep going to them uh i get the green one the green ones are worth 10 without the game pass then i grab these pink diamonds and i continue down the border intel intel great intel top secret intel fbi moment and i grab those I should really not make tutorial videos. I don't know what I'm doing. And then, it's not really a tutorial. It's just me grabbing diamonds. And then after that, I head inside for our last few locations. The principal's office has a red diamond in it. So that is three out of five red diamonds. The other two are actually in the same spot. Now, like I said, you're going to want to come up with your own route if you can't get to some of these. Because the last location I'm going to show you can give you over 430 diamonds in one go if you have the game pass but it's a little tricky to get into so the second to last location i have is the chemistry lab which i think is actually really underrated for getting diamonds because you'll notice there's tons around here while well, they all give you the same amount there's like plenty you'll get over 100 with the game pass i think i calculated about 168 diamonds with both game passes so there's tons in the balcony there's some on these chairs you see there's two right here on the edges sometimes diamonds are super tiny or hidden with other things so it's hard to see them but once you start playing for a while you learn where all the diamonds are so it's really easy to get them um, another method for diamond farming is to go in divinia like the spawning lobby because it's really easy to get them there if you just sit around and wait for them to respawn you can collect those really fast but those diamonds are random and don't always give you the same ones whereas in here Red diamonds will always give you the same amount. Green diamonds will always give you the same amount, etc. Okay, our last location might be a little tricky for some of you to get into. And you'll have to come up with your own method. But as you can see right here, and I'm sure you've seen other videos saying this, there is this waterfall and two trees back here that give you tons of diamonds, which is super awesome. You'll have to find out your own method for sort of glitching in here. And it's a lot easier with the flight game pass, but it's totally possible without it. So what I do is I fly into it full speed and I keep I keybind some I have two in one I think keybinded to sleep and twirl I could be wrong but that's about it and then the two red diamonds are up here so see right here 120 120 I just got 240 diamonds just like that that was super easy wasn't it and then I collect these all over the rocks it's kind of called the secret waterfall it's outside the art room window so it's super awesome because I can just grab these diamonds really fast. And then I grab this green diamond and voila, I finished the diamond looting. And as you can see, I just jump off. It puts me right back in front of where I started so I can do the whole thing over again. And I think I've taken quite a while to do all that. So those diamonds should be right back where they were before. Yep, see, these diamonds from earlier have respawned. So now I can just calculate how many diamonds I got from doing that. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to do it right here on here. I'm going to pull out my calculator on my phone so let's see i have 15,361 right now and i started with how many did i start with 13,573 i think so i just earned 1,788 which is actually more than i originally calculated so i can keep doing that over and over again and i can get tons of diamonds in no time so I'm going to go do that a bunch, and then I will come back when I have my desired amount of diamonds. Okay, so I just diamond was diamond farming for about 30 minutes, and I got up to 26,000 diamonds. So that's pretty fast. I think I'm going to have to keep doing that definitely. It would only take me about another hour to get enough for the Miss Lady Rose skirt, which is still a lot. Now, um, if you don't have the game pass, obviously your numbers are going to be a little bit different. So... 
let me calculate those for you i will put those down in the description below what you'll get every time you run the route if you don't have the game passes anyway i will see you all next time thank you all so much for watching bye bye